Hi friends, Jenny at Clover and Violet here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a side gusset on a bag like this. This is a fun technique and makes your tote bag a little bit more unique than just your average box corner tote. I think that you'll really enjoy this lesson, so let's get started. Okay, let's get started sewing our gusset side piece to our main bag. So this is the top of our bag. We already have our ties added and secured, and then I've just pinned them here out of the way. And then here are our rounded corners. Here is my gusset piece that I've sewn and quilted already. And I am using linen because it is slightly longer than regular quilting cotton so that I don't have to piece my piece together. If you're using quilting cotton, you're gonna need a 42 inch long piece, which could include your salvage. Just make sure to measure. So I've just left this salvage on and then you can see that my fleece actually goes beyond the end. I'm gonna trim all that off later. So what I'm gonna do is place this right sides together with my bag and I'm just going to start pinning around the edge. And then when I get to this corner, I'm just going to kind of fold my bag and pin again. so that my lining gusset, or so that my gusset is lining up with the main portion of my bag. And I'm just gonna, as you can see, kind of turn it, keep going around, and then we'll move on to the bottom. And then again, so I get about three pins in the corner. And so I like to think of it as pushing your fabric a little bit back when you go around the corner rather than like stretching it around the corner. And this will give you a better, better fit for your corner. And I'll just confess right now that occasionally my corners have a little bit of a pucker and you can't really notice. So being accomplished and finishing things is more important than them turning out perfect every single time in my opinion and so if my corner is a little puckery as long as it's gonna work and it's not a big big fold I'll just leave it and so I want to encourage you to just enjoy the sewing and that it doesn't always have to be exact okay so you can see that my piece is gonna extend beyond my bag and that's why I'm using the linen. So we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and I'll just show you how I sew around the bag. All right, let's go do it. Okay, so here we are at the machine and I am gonna start at this same side that I started pinning and I'm just gonna work on sewing around the edge. Since I'm using fusible fleece, I'm just gonna sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so now we're gonna, as we approach the corner, I'm just gonna slow down and try to keep our bag piece flat and just go around the corner like so. And then if you feel like there's a pucker, I always like to just kind of, like I said, move my fabric to the back. And we'll just keep on going around the corner. So you can see me kind of easing it towards the back. It's 
So again, you can see this fold here. I'm just going to ease it backwards to avoid that pucker. All right, and that is how you're gonna sew this portion on. Okay, so I just went over to my rotary cutter and just trimmed this edge of the fabric to be the same as the edge of the bag. But before I sew the other bag body on, I am going to sew the seam allowance down. So here's how I'm gonna do that. I am just gonna open my bag seam and then sew with this little like 1 8 inch notch right next to the seam I just made. This is an extra step and you don't have to do it, but I think it makes the bags look really nice. And when I do the corner, I kind of turn the bag up as I go to keep it nice and flat rather than pushing it down. So I think of the corner as going around like this and not around like flat, if that makes sense. This is an optional step, but you can see how it just really secures that seam allowance and it just looks really nice right there next to the edge. And here's how the corner looks. So now we'll take this back over to our table and we will pin the other bag body on. Okay, so now we have, okay, now we have the first side of the bag done. So what I like to do is fold up my bag sides and then measure and mark the center bottom point. And then we're gonna take our other bag piece and we're gonna mark, we're gonna attach it at that center bottom. Since this is patchwork, we can easily see where the center was. If you're using a solid piece of fabric, just mark your center. And then we'll also start pinning at the top. And what I wanna do is just work my way around so that this center bottom lines up. And we'll just pin this 
again, just like before. And then we'll do the other side after pinning the center bottom. We'll pin the top a little bit on the sides and then line these sides up again. If it feels like you have a tiny bit of extra, it's probably just because of the way that the sides are sitting. It looks like I had extra down here until I adjusted a little bit more. So there we have our second body pinned on and we're just gonna take that back to the sewing machine and sew it the exact same way. All right, so we've sewn the one side and now we're here to sew the second side just the same way. So I am not going to comment. I'm just going to sew this quickly so that you can watch. Okay, so we've sewn all the way around our bag and then what I'm gonna do is just open my bag like this and top stitch it. I know you're not gonna be able to see this very well, but I just want you to see how I do it. So remember, I'm stitching toward the, toward the side gusset. And I just check occasionally to make sure that my seam is still going the correct direction.
All right, now we have our gusset sewn down on both sides and that'll just give us a really nice neat seam. I'm gonna turn this right side out and then let's see, you can kind of see how that corner is gonna turn out looking, right? And so it's all neatly sewn down and then we can unpin our sides and then these little ties we're just going to give us the option to cinch up the top, which I think is a really cute look. So we can just cinch it up and there we'll have our bag body. Let me just take you over to the cutting table and give you one more good look at it. Okay, so here we have our bag. I showed you the ties a little bit, but I think these are just a cute option. And then we have just a sweet little tote. You can see my top stitching on both edges is right near the seam. And then that's going to keep everything in place and our quilted outside is done. We're just going to next make our lining and some handles. So I hope you're enjoying this and I can't wait to show you the rest.